What's going on guys? Today we're going to be installing a set of last fit all weather floor mats in the 2019 Ram. They did send me these to demo. I did pay shipping for them, but they sent the product itself for free. Um, so these are a pretty good looking floor mat. I have them lined up next to the OEM mats that I already had in the truck. And as you can see, uh, the back mat is quite a bit bigger. So this looks like it's going to go under the seat as where this one kind of ends at the seat. Also, if it's important to you to have a one piece rear floor mat, these are a good option. The factory ones are actually a two piece. They do a really good job of laying over each other, but if you're really concerned about it, um, this is going to be a better bet. Now, this is the same company that provided me with the LED bulbs for the high mount brake light and cargo lamps, which those are still working great, so I have no doubt that these are pretty good quality as well. Now, compared to the OEM ones, I think these run about $150, and these last fit run approximately $120 to $130, so they're about $20 bucks cheaper than the OEM. And like I said, it's a one piece in the back with a little more coverage. Um, the OEM ones have slightly better protection in the front. As you can see, the, um, the sides are raised a little higher, but if you think about it, and you'll see once we get these into position, but you're not gonna really have your feet way up um, where those ones cover anyways. And the last fit ones do have these nice little lines right here. So if you do have your feet up there with any slush or anything, um, the water is gonna run down those lines and it's gonna get trapped in here. It is um, nice and fully enclosed. So once water or anything comes down here, um, it does get trapped in these channels. So that's nice. Also, as with most floor mats like this, um, they have to bend them to, to package them and ship them. So you'll have some creasing like you can see here. You can fix that by just bending the uh, floor mat the opposite direction. Or if you're really having a hard time, you could take something like a hair dryer to it and be careful with it. Just kind of heat it up a little bit and then bend it the opposite direction. That might help as well. Comparing the OEM to the last fit, they both feel like a very similar grade of like rubberish plastic, um, very similar thickness. So they are very good OE quality, uh, That the last fits. Now, before we install these all weather mats, I just want to go over their uh, return and warranty policy real quick. They do come with a 45 day money back guarantee and a limited lifetime warranty. Um, if you want to extend that to a 90 day money back guarantee with the last fit members uh, limited lifetime warranty, you can register online uh, with this paper here. They have their website and everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put these in, see how they fit. Obviously the first step is gonna be remove any existing uh, weather mats that you have, whether they be all weather or carpet, remove them. And now's a good time to vacuum my truck. Don't judge me, mine's pretty dirty. I'm just gonna put these in there for the install sake. I will clean it up later. Now you should kind of be able to figure it out just by looking at them, but if you're having a hard time on the back side of the all weather mats, just like the OEM ones, the last fit ones, show you what position in the vehicle so you can see here it's showing the front left so this will be the driver's side front floor mat then it's as simple as sliding it up and then on the bottom where you see these circles one here one here they're going to have the little snaps that clip onto the factory uh, little carpeted hooks just like that here we can see a little example of the packaging like I was saying. It sticks up a little bit here. If that bothers you, you can take the uh, floor mat back off, bend it down a little bit, heat it if you have to. Obviously don't melt it or anything, but as you can see there, I already have it laying uh, much more flat. It does cover the plastic door trim a bit, keeps everything contained that's gonna spill. Like I said, if you're in a state that gets snow like me uh, and you got your shoes and a little bit of snow drips off while you're using the pedals, it'll land here drip down and collect. And again, very good fitment. And also again, don't judge me, I'm gonna vacuum. Now real quick, I'm also gonna list off a couple of features about the last fit floor mats. Uh, also product link in the video description, use coupon code truckguy, all one word, for 10% off that works on their floor mats and their LED bulbs. Might work for more even, who knows. Um, so more about these, they're made out of an eco aspect thermoplastic elastomer, big words. So in other words, they're not supposed to smell super rubbery. They're injection molded and they're not overly stiff. Um, some of the weather techs that I've had previously, they were a little like too plasticky and they weren't perfectly formed. These are, you know, precision digitally measured. 
So they're pretty soft and flexible and they're not supposed to crack, curl, or harden in cold temperatures. Also, obviously they're fairly easy to clean. Just unsnap them from the factory retention posts, drag it out. If you need to, you can spray it down with a garden hose and a brush, let it dry out in the driveway for a bit and simply throw them back in and away you go. Don't have to deal with uh, carpeted mats that cling to everything. Easy peasy. Now we're on the passenger side. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just get them lined up, snapped into place. But unlike the driver's side, we have this little panel to deal with. So you can either leave it like this, where it kind of goes around it, or you can do like what I did with my OEM flaps and grab this, pull towards you, and then kind of tuck the mat under it. And then you feed these two little fingers back into the slots back here. And then there's a little clip and a round tab to push in. And now this panel also helps hold the floor mat in place. So up to you how you want to do it. As you can see, it's a little bit of a tighter fit to this contour with this in place. Again, bend that down if you need to. You can see this line right here in the carpet. That's how high up the OEM one went. But again, I mean, really how high does it need to go on the center hump anyways? These do come up um, like a good two, three inches here. So I really don't think you need anything more than that. This is pretty sufficient. Now onto the back, which as it's such a huge single piece uh, floor mat, I went ahead and put my seats up so you can get a better view and it'll be easier to install this thing. For the directions, they say you may need to move uh, the seats around to kind of help with this. And man, guys, I gotta say, these are pretty awesome back here. I like the back one a lot. Again, not only that it's one piece, but you know, all this stuff to catch any sort of liquids back here. And they really, I mean, they cover everything. It goes all the way up here, around and underneath, all the way to the vent darn near, under the seat, all the way up the hump here. Um, all the way across and again all the way under the seats as where the OEM ones end like right here uh, They don't go any further back. These ones come all the way back here and then even around this piece here So that's really nice. Once you're in position, you're just gonna Snap it into place and there's also this big ridge right here a right, little ridge I guess I don't know if that's in case something's here and it spills it kind of keeps it from sloshing forward not sure exactly what that's for but that's a nice little touch as well go over to the other side do the same thing snap it into place and voila we are done now you can put your seats down looks nice plenty of wide open area and just like the factory all-weather mats you can still access the ram bins by just flipping it up um, the snap is far enough towards the center of the truck where you can just kind of flip them off to the side and lift them up or you can unsnap it up to you don't matter um, i honestly don't use my ram bins that much anyway so it's not a huge deal to me And that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. I'm going to post Last Fit's website down in the video description, as well as links to these mats and the LED bulbs. They also have other uh, auto accessories, so check them out there. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. Check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.